Hi guys, well if you're new to the channel, uh, I've split from uh, Svetlana and having to find somewhere to live, I was looking for a sailboat project. I found this 1988 Benetel First 305 that had been abandoned. It's in a bit of a sorry state, the headline is missing just about everywhere. Uh, the bilges were full of water and uh, the engine was in bits. So I've given myself six weeks to get it back up and running and uh, seaworthy. So join me on the journey, and if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Thanks. She's sailing beautifully. The main mask is stuck. Top there, sticky, so I'm going to have to go up there and free it or something. That's a jump from the bed. Right now, I'm just enjoying the fact that this board is actually set. It's set really light. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy, happy with it. Things have slowed down a bit, um, mainly due to the heat, but also due to the fact that I've run out of money. Uh, so here I am uh, in Greece, which is where I want to be, on a 400, pound, 400 euro abandoned sailboat, which has been resurrected and now sails beautifully with a fresh engine and upgraded, shore pa up upgraded power. So it now has um, lithium batteries. And um, yeah, if I can get this cabin habitable, uh, get some paint on it and just make it look a bit more livable then um, yeah I've got the paint so I'm sure I can uh, I can give it a go and then um, next job after this is the bathroom I've got to get the toilet working and the shower working and get it nice and clean in there and uh, yeah and then we can start on headlinings and things like that so that's the plan well, it's 33 degrees outside. It's really hot and airless, but I've got to get on. And this cabin is not going to finish itself, is it? So I'm going to take the cushions out, get the fan running, and hopefully that will just give me enough air, enough of a breeze to cool me down, long enough to finish getting all of this old adhesive off, which is a horrible job. And uh, I've got no vacuum cleaner because I'm at anchor and I've got no, no uh, 240 volt. So I'm going to have to use a dustpan and brush and just brush it up. Uh, and then maybe when I've finished, I'll go for a swim. And that will uh, just clean me up again. So that's the plan. I started masking up this cabin ready for painting. As you can see, I'm sleeping in here, so I've got to move all of this before I can start painting. But I still need to strip off a lot of the old adhesive before I start. But I wanted to get some masking done. Uh, I've also fastened this up here. Um, and it's a bit Heath Robinson, but that's because it's temporary. Um, I think the charger will stay there, but the cables are all going to have to route neatly. Um, the solar panels are mounted up here and they're literally just laid just laid on the coach house roof at the moment uh, again a temporary measure because what I'm going to do eventually I hope is put a stainless steel structure up here and mount the solar on a solar arch uh, so I can actually put a bimini up as well and get some shade but that's a long way down the line because, uh, as I've said before, I'm out of cash now. So um, today's job will be to finish off in this cabin, masking up. 
and then uh, there's lots of little screws that I need to take out of places like this and then this adhesive has got to finish off so I've got to take all of this out uh, and then I can crack on so okay first coat of paint on looks a lot brighter so yeah, there's another coat to go on this is just primer as well so then I've got a top coat to do but it's definitely looking better I've got some clean up to do there's little splashes but so we need to get out into fresh, fresh air because the fumes are killing me well that's looking a lot better I need to just get rid of some of the drips off the uh, woodwork but otherwise that's looking quite nice yeah Right, by the top. So we need to try and tackle this hole in the deck uh, because you can see that the core is gone inside there. It's been leaking for so long. So, uh, yeah, no power tools on board. So I've got this saw. I'm going to um, start to saw this out a little bit more and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get to solid core and then when we get to solid core I can patch it and then we can start to work from there so that's that's the plan for today is to start to uh, cut more holes in the deck <laughs> So close. I've been sweating like a pig, so I'm going to have to let that dry now before I can um, start fiberglass. I need to also sand all that area. So, this is what it looks like from underneath, so it can drop another few millimetres, which is good. And then, what I'll do is I'll fiberglass this first, I think, and I'll just give it some support. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I have ground out all the gel cut around it and wiped it all down with acetone. I've now cut out the fiberglass pieces that's going to go on there. So there is uh, one, two, three, four five pieces so now I'm going to mix up some epoxy and uh, get this uh, get this basically bedded in and hopefully we can uh, then uh, put some gel coat on the top and, uh, and flatten it and it'll look okay again won't look perfect but it'll look okay <laughs> Thank you. 
When it goes off, it really goes off. I can work with that. Okay, fiber glass is in and I've put a layer of gel filler on there and it's so hot it's going off in about five seconds flat. So you can see where it's got a bit bubbly here. So um, now that's on, I need to sand that flat and then I'll probably need to put another coat on and I need to do it when it's cooler. And once I've done that, I'll see about trying to do these sort of little square anti grip stuff in there as well. Uh, but um, it's going to look better than it did. There's a bloody great hole. And uh, at the end of the day, as long as it's waterproof, that's what actually matters, I think, right now. So, yeah, the boat's looking a mess again. But, yeah. Uh, we're starting to get through the job so this means that I can now finish inside with the um, with the cabin in between jobs I go to anchor I mean what's the point in having a boat if you can't enjoy it hey eh? this is uh, Varco Bay which is just on the mainland to the north of Nidri and uh, it's a beautiful spot with a taverna just what the doctor ordered <laughs> <laughs> 